If relationships are the real currency in life, if referrals are the lifeblood of business, how do we, the entrepreneurs, the small business owners, compete in this ever-changing, fast-paced world? How do we become more so we can attract more? My name is Curtis Lucy, and I'm your host. Those are the questions, and in this podcast, we will reveal the secrets. All right, we have an awesome, awesome guest here. Uh, this is Mr. Chris McAllister, one of my dear friends. He, uh, he's got one of the coolest jobs in the world, sells private jets. Got some great stories for you today. I just want to tell you a quick backstory how uh, I came to meet Chris, and more, more importantly than what he does for a living, who he is as a person. And so my business partner, Tommy Wyatt, co-author of Appreciation Marketing, as you guys all know, uh, you say coach little league softball with Chris and they knew each other. And it's funny because we were in the greeting card business and the appreciation and gratitude business. And Tommy's like, Chris, what is it you do? And he's like, I um, sell jets, like jets as in like up in the sky jets. He goes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, what do you do? Uh, greeting cards. And Tommy's like, I wanted to like shrink down. Like this guy sells jets and I'm in the greeting card business. And it wasn't long before they became fast friends. And, uh, and Chris became one of our, most loyal customers and always had a story to share with us. And it's just, I, what I really want you to understand and, and get out of this is the importance of the single heartfelt card and, and the power of that. And, uh, and Chris, you've demonstrated that over the years and now you've been a card sender for Chase phone on 15 years now. So say hi to everybody. Uh, say hi to everybody on this podcast and um, want to hear just, you know, your thoughts. Oh, and one big thing I forgot, Chris was the first member of AM Cards. He wouldn't allow me to sign up somebody. He's like, you have to promise me I'm going to be your first member. <laughs> and then a couple of years later, he's saying, Curtis, I want to be a part of it and uh, ponied up a lot of cash and, uh, and invested into AM Cards and forever grateful and forever thankful for, for that in a time that we absolutely needed it. And um, so very grateful to have you in my life, brother. And I can't wait for everybody to hear from you. <laughs> exciting. Very exciting. Um, Curtis, as, as you know, I'm, I'm slightly, uh, I'll call it technologically challenged. So uh, you're always pushing me to new limits. So uh, this, this video uh, um, call that we're doing here, that you're recording, that you're uh, taking me through is, is another first for me as well. So uh, <laughs> Uh, I know uh, I, I appreciate that uh, awesome introduction. Um, I really, I can't thank you enough for uh, the things I've learned from you, uh, the things I learned from Tommy, uh, the things that um, kind of the experiences we've shared, the adventures along the way, and uh, uh, the stories that really have become a big part of, uh, you know, who you are, who I am, who we are together, uh, um, you know, what our company is, and, 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 uh, all of those types of things. It's been a true, true blessing, uh, without a doubt. And I, I, I really uh, appreciate you and um, and, and grateful that uh, our paths align. Thank goodness for uh, uh, Tommy's daughter and my daughter playing Little League softball together, for sure. Absolutely. And a little more about Chris. He rescues horses. He, let, he has a farm. He's up four o'clock in the morning every morning out in the barn at five and then and then often time goes in showers and and throw, gets in his pickup truck and drives in new york city and meets up with a billionaire you know like he's uh, i mean his life is pretty amazing and i would love for people for you to share you know going back to the beginning i mean you embraced appreciation marketing right from the get-go and started Im implementing it right away can you take us through a little bit of what how you started implementing it um you know, it's kind of interesting. I, I think part of um, the, the appreciation marketing principles were always something that were uh, that, that I'd been exposed to right from the early on. I kind of, you know, go back and say, you know, your 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 grandmother, or your mother making you write those thank you notes. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, as a kid and you, you thought it was torturous. But, uh, you know, uh, years later, you, you certainly see the value and the importance of um uh, of what those lessons taught you to do. So um, I'd like to say or think that I was always, um, um, you know, cognizant or aware of appreciation, the value of it, the importance of it, uh, being grateful, having uh, 
a gratitude filled heart in, in, in expressing that to others. Um, but what I saw kind of when I first got connected with you guys and, and, and got involved with this is that uh, you guys kind of made me aware of some things that um, um, I'll say that, that, that most people should know that were probably common sense, but it wasn't all that common. You took really some, some simple uh, ideas and concepts and just broke them down into, uh, in, into the layman's, uh, into layman's terms. Uh, you know, things that I could easily understand and follow and, um, and, and then provided a, a system uh, that really made it simple um, to do something that I had already been practicing. So, so you would kind of, kind of, you, you know, if I was in first or second gear, uh, maybe even third, when I kind of connected with you guys, uh, you know, you showed me a way to, to kick it into overdrive and do it at lightning speed. Oh, that's awesome. That's very cool. And when we had a conversation back a while ago, and I remember we were talking about, you know, these, these cards and the things that we do with appreciation marketing make an impact, not just an impression. And I know that that's something that you really think about a lot. And we were on the phone one day, and I remembered you saying something, and it stuck with me. And every speaking engagement that I have since over the last few years, you, you said something that I thought was just so powerful. And you said, one thing you never want to outsource is you don't want to outsource your heart. Can you go in on that a little bit more? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I guess I'd, I'd probably, uh, you know, I know you've, you've, you've said it or kind of paraphrased it and, and I'm sure you've used it in several of your things, but um, you know, I wouldn't have my assistant call my best friend and wish him a happy birthday. Um, you know, we, we, we've said that many times is that um, um, kind of in the fast paced world that we live in kind of the um, uh, kind of, you know, Google world, a couple of clicks in a few seconds and you can see and find things quicker, faster, easier, et cetera. Um, I think there's a huge, huge value in, um, you know, sharing messages and sharing them from the heart and the uh, connections that you can um, th that you can build, the connections that you can create, um, you know, fortifying those relationships by taking that extra minute or two, sometimes three or four, even if it's necessary. Do you, um, mind, sh do you mind sharing a couple of stories around, around that? Like, um, because I, I mean, you're always sharing so many. I know there's so many of them. And I just remember like, you say and you go to conferences and you meet people and you'll meet executive assistants and you remember names and you send cards and brownies and then you show up at conferences again or you get emails and everybody remembers your name and it's like you always get in on bids um, for these jets because everybody remembers you. Like, do you mind sharing a couple of those maybe stories that you've sent these cards and kind of just blew people away? Yeah. Um I guess I'd kind of, I'll, I'll take it and liken uh, uh, one side of the spectrum and, and use the term a, a billionaire. Mm -hmm. And I'll share another uh, uh, story with you um, from the other side of the spectrum in, in terms of uh, a bus driver. Mm. Um, and so, you know, kind of one of my favorites uh, first is um, uh, the bus driver story. And uh, we have a fantastic bus driver. His name's Bob and uh, drove our son to school, uh, picked him up, dropped him off, uh, you know, day in, day out, every, uh, you know, e every day for several years. And um, just really cool guy, really nice guy, always said hello, always, you know, great to greet you in the morning. And so um, took the opportunity to send him a heartfelt greeting card. Um, you know, and that message was, you know, pretty clear and uh, pretty simple. Uh, you know, hey, Bob, we appreciate you taking care of uh, one of our most prized possessions. You know, we have a 20-year-old daughter, a 12-year-old son, and uh, uh, he drove our son to school every day. So, um, you know, obviously our, our you know, son's one of our most prized possessions and just genuinely said thank you. Thank you for doing a great job. Thank you for looking after, you know, all the kids on the bus, certainly our son. We always know he's going to get there safe and and sound and going to get home safe and sound, uh, you yeah. know, when you're behind, when you're behind the wheel, um, in the impact and we, you just talked about that word, the impact, um, 
when the next time we we saw him after he received the the, the, the card um kind of stopping the bus um you know kind of getting off in 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 a heartfelt handshake and a hug and kind of a, a thank you from him um for th- you know he thanked me for thanking him yeah uh, which was kind of interesting because in all the years that he had been driving um he had never had someone express thank you to him in in such a heartfelt way um hey, guys and i want you to guys to take this you, you might be thinking well that that's really cool and pretty sentimental what we even need to understand is like i know chris you're a man of faith and a big believer in god and whatever it is that your belief is whether you believe in the universe god or whatever it is so one of the things that we talk about in appreciation marketing is that sending out without expectation of getting anything in return. And you just simply, and a lot of times, you know, you, how you show up in one area of your life is how you're showing up in another area of your life uh, oftentimes and creating a habit of appreciation and gratitude, creating a habit of when you recognize something or have a prompting to do something, um, to do it and act on it. So it was just interesting because I'm a big believer that if you do this kind of stuff and you come from the right place of authenticity and that you might do it something over here and then something amazing shows up over here. It's just kind of the the whole law of reciprocity or whatever, the universe, God, whatever you want to claim it to be. Like how many times have you done things over and over again? And then you might just get a text message that blows you away over here. And then over here you said, okay, yeah, let's push through that deal for an $18.2 million private jet. Like when I was in your office that day and that that person, (laughs) and you know, and you're like, woohoo, this is awesome, you know, and like, you, it's, I mean, I would, it was awesome to share that memory when you, when you got the verbal on closing that deal, um, which you've closed many of those types of deals. but I just wanted to share that out there with you guys, because here, he acts on it, and he does it, was the bus driver, and now here's the next story of a, a billionaire, I mean, his phone is filled up with who's who of American business, and cell phone numbers of these types of people, so. So, it was kind of interesting, the, um, the, the appreciation marketing system, uh, uh, allows me to or, or, or provides a vehicle to uh, remember people uh, on their special days, you know, either anniversaries, birthdays, uh, etc. So um, I had, had, had become a, a very big birthday card sender. Um, and, and the appreciation marketing system, you know, allows you to, to do that quite easily. Um, in some ways, it's kind of leveraging technology to, to, to help yourself and make yourself look like a rock star. But a lot of times it's not about looking like a rock star. It's just, again, sending out that genuine, heartfelt, you know, um, you know, hey, Charles, uh, uh, just wanted to wish you happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Was thinking about you, uh, um, you know, your friend, Chris, you know, sending the card out. Um, so the, the billionaire piece to that story is that, um, you know, uh, sent a birthday card uh, to, to this fella. Um, and a few days later, I get a phone call, um, and it's from him and you would think that, you know, a gentleman that owns a multi-billion dollar, you know, global organization, uh, um, you know, would have received, you know, a bunch of greeting, a bunch of birthday cards and a bunch of birthday messages and sentiments. And he had received a couple from his family and, you know, those that he kind of expected, but mine was an unexpected one. And it was the only one that he had gotten Mm. and the impact that it had on him uh, for him to pick up the phone and call me personally again, to say, thank you. Um, Kind of like the bus driver story. I was saying, you know, he thanked me for thanking him. And um, you know, again, uh, this fella, you know, took the time to call and thank me for just expressing, you know, happy (laughs) birthday from the you, heart. I know you are blown away by that. And you're like, Curtis, just to let you know, he has an executive assistant for his executive assistant. Like he's got an assistant for his assistant. Like you can't talk to this guy. And like, and, and for you to have that, you know, type of connection, I just think is really just something very special. And like, I, I remember another time you, um, you told me that like you had your family on the back of a boat and you're like, from my family to yours, I want to wish you a, a happy 4th of July. You know, yeah. like, and in Fourth of July, you know, for entrepreneurs is it's my favorite holiday of the year. I just, it's just something about it. And, you know, gives us, you know, we live in an amazing country, and I, I, it's cool how you tie into some of those kind of messages. You're, you're sending it to these elite business people. I mean, these guys are crazy net worths, and they didn't get their 
you know, it's just, I, I love those types of stories. So when you send a message like that without asking them, you know, let me bid on your next job or anything like that, it just helps you, you know? It, 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 it helps you make an impact uh, and, and really build relationships. And if you, uh, uh, I think I'll, I'll steal or, or paraphrase something I've heard you uh, uh, say a number of times is that, um, you know, kind of looking at it from the business sense or uh, uh, really could be the a professional sense or a personal sense is the most valuable currency uh, mm -hmm. is the relationships, uh, mm -hmm. the relationships that you have, the relationships that you can create, the relationships that you build, the relationships that you maintain. Um, and, and really, truly across the spectrum of, you know, business and professional and, and, and uh, personally. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've got a few aunts in my family that think I am, um, you know, the, 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 the best of 27, you know, nieces and nephews because um, they get a birthday card from me uh, every, every single year. Um, you know, and I've got, uh, you know, some of the business titans of the, of, uh, of, of the world that have, you know, called me personally because, you know, I've taken the time to, you know, send them a, a, a thank you card or an appreciation card or a heartfelt message. Um, and it truly is kind of both ends of, of that spectrum. Um, and, and kind of going back to what you said earlier is really making it about the heartfelt message, not about the, you know, I want to get something from you or I'm looking to, you know, get your business or I'm looking to get when it's a, I find when it's about the get, um, it, it, it doesn't have the same so, impact. It doesn't have the you, same. Uh, and when you come from your perspective and you really practice in this in all, all areas, it's really cool because, you know, I, we've had so many conversations over the years and there's always a new story. I just remember you even sharing, you mind sharing the story about how like you need to get a demo flight and you don't think you can get a demo flight at a certain time, but because of that box of brownies and that card that you sent to that mechanic or somebody at the home off, you know what I'm talking about? How you're saying like, Oh, that's Chris McAllister. We got him to get on that. Like there's other people, other sales reps that need to line things up and how you always get pushed to the top because you do the little things. You, I mean, that's just something that popped into my head. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I can go, we, we can, we can, we can talk hours about uh, different stories uh, and different elements of that where, um, you know, again, just, I think being a, a, a grateful, uh, gratitude filled person, uh, recognizing others and being appreciative um, uh, of them. Um, in some ways, you know, just, just being heartfelt and, and being genuine about that. Um, in some ways almost wants to make them do something, you know, uh, back for you. And, you know, you, you don't approach it as, and then, well, I've got to, you know, send a thank you card because I want to get something back. Um, you, you do it because, um, you know, it's coming from the heart because it's genuine because you're really trying to say thank you or I appreciate you or whatever your, your, your message needs to be. Um, but I've sent those types of messages out so many times and ended up receiving messages back, um, uh, receiving benefits back from those messages that I could never have even imagined. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those that have led to, you know, great triumphs, uh, you know, in the business world and in, in the selling world. Um, you know, others just being, uh, um, you know, kind of a, a simple message, uh, uh, you know, that I got just this week. Uh, I'll, I'll read it to you real quick but a uh, good friend of mine who is um, uh, he's in Tennessee he uh, uh, chief of staff of the, uh, the the VA there in Tennessee um, so been friends with him and his family for years we go snowmobiling together um, you know I got a message text message from him the other night uh, we had gone on a snowmobile trip in early March and I just sent him a card afterwards and uh, thanked him for you know being such a good friend and, you know, having uh, been blessed to, to know their family and, and all the rest of that stuff. And uh, uh, this is a gentleman who's literally on the, the front lines of the, the, the COVID-19 crisis right now. Yeah, and, so and this recording right now, we're in the middle of it. So, yeah. And, and, and so, um, you know, to, to, to have him, um, you know, to have, to, to have him come in, come the other night and uh, he sends me a message 
sorry here, you know me and the technology, but I wanted to uh, kind of read it to you. Um, you know, and his message was, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the card. After a long day of managing the planning of what might become a major disaster, your card and message was just the medicine that I needed. So this is a guy that's literally, you know, um, um, you know, he's done multiple, uh, you know, tours, um, you know, was a uh, 27 year uh, Marine reservist. Um, he's seen some things in the world. Uh, he's on the front lines of this right now. And for him to describe my heartfelt message uh, and greeting card that I sent him as just the medicine that he needed uh, mm -hmm. amongst this time, that's a pretty powerful impact. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And you know, you're know, you very humble. And so I'm gonna try to pull some of this stuff out of there of you. So how many hundreds of millions of dollars worth of either from your earlier days of selling private jet cars to selling full jets to aircraft? What would you think roughly? You know, in your career, in, in my sales career, it's probably at this point north of three hundred million. Three hundred million uh, probably dollars, somewhere worth. between three hundred to three hundred fifty million dollars in Amazing. total sales. Amazing. <laughs> so he would never say that. I am pl I'm pulling that out of him. But um, you know, I you know, a lot of little random things. Like I remember one time you said there was this older gentleman that could easily purchase a jet like totally of the funds but he was pretty frugal with his money and of course you had to and you wanted to close the deal and you straight up um a couple things you did one you talked about you know you mentioned you want to see your grandson's little league games and this gives you the ability to fly there for your meetings and come back and still be and then you put they couldn't put a price tag on family and losing time and stuff like that so he pulled the trigger but i remember i remember you him and his wife walking down right on their demo flight and you took a picture of yeah. them walking down you remember the story because i don't remember the, the person or anything like that i just remember the story and you sent him a card and congratulating him on all of his business accomplishments and all this kind of stuff and just highlighting what a, a fabulous uh, decision to purchase a jet because of this and this and this but I remember when you said that he got the card and how appreciative it was. And I think the first card was, I appreciate the opportunity to earn your business because I got that line from you. And I teach that on stages all over the country now too. I yeah. appreciate the opportunity to earn your business. I thought that is just powerful. Write that down and use that in your follow-up. But you know, there's more that you probably want to add or another story that comes to mind as well. Um. <laughs> Like I said, we could keep going uh, round and round. I, I love it. I have to pull these out of you because you're so humble. I probably should have done a, uh, a better job journaling some of these and uh, and have them uh, pulled up. But um, you know, kind of a, a, a quick fun story. Um, so our son is a huge Boston Celtics fan. Um, and uh, and so I took him to his uh, first game. Uh, my mother-in-law had bought us uh, tickets or bought him tickets uh uh, for a birthday present, and uh, and so we went to our first game, and that part of that experience was uh, we were there plenty early. He had me there a long, long, long time before the game started. We went to the pro shop, um, and we met the manager at the pro shop in the Boston Garden, and, you know, the store had just opened up. It's hours before game time, and this fella took us around and he, you know, told him that it was my son's first time there and his first experience. And this guy was fantastic. I mean, one of the best uh, customer service, uh, just a genuine, nice guy, showed us around, showed us all the different products, um, you know, helped my son find a few different things, just spent a lot of time with him. Great, great guy. Um, and uh, we thanked him for his time and he walked away and, and we walked up the line to, to uh, pay for our things. And, and as we got up to the front of the line, uh, the, the cashier said, um, uh, Tom, Tom would like you to have his 50% uh, his discount on the items that you're purchasing, which at the NBA store was, you know, pretty sizable. And it was, uh, we were kind of blown away and like, wow, this was cool. So here's a guy that we spent 15 minutes with, 20 minutes with, had a great experience with, um, and just took the time uh, when we got home 
uh, took a picture of my son in his shirt at the Boston Garden, uh, sent it to the store. I didn't even know his last name. Uh, found the address for the store, called the store. Uh, they wouldn't share his last name with me, so I just sent it, attention, Tom, sent it to the address of the store uh, and let it go. Um, I guess it was probably uh, six months after that first experience. I'm back at Boston Garden with my son and two of his friends for his birthday, and uh, we're going to see another game, and we walk into the pro shop, and who greets us like we are rock star celebrities amongst the whole group. And it was Tom. Um, gave us the heartiest hug and the greeting and told me about that awesome card that I sent him, thanking him for the great experience with his son. And he remembered all the details and that my card was at home on his desk. And, and, and that was the second interaction I ever had with him, that we ever had with him. And he was so excited to see us, so happy that we came back, and so appreciative of the time I took to send him mm. a thank you card for him just extending uh, um, just a little bit of heartfelt courtesy, some great customer service, and, uh, and, a, and a super discount. Um, so that's someone that I wasn't trying to build a relationship with, but have a great relationship with him now because we had a great experience. We shared that and uh, kind of solidified that, made an impact on him by just sending a uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, making my son's experience uh, such a strong and positive one. Um, and that, that's why I encourage everybody here that's, that's listening is whether you go to Walmart, Walgreens, or you hop on AM cards and use our system, take a 30-day challenge and send a card a day for 30 days. And I know, Chris, there's, and we talked about this before, sometimes we don't get a card out every day. However, sometimes we'll sit down and we'll blast out five, seven, ten cards that we know we need to send. And so I, I encourage everybody to do it because when that may, it forces you to look for the good stuff like Tom there. And like, you know, there's so many different situations that we can acknowledge and appreciate that are happening around us. And when you start to do this on a more consistent level, you're going to see what's going to flow back into your life. And especially if you're, you're in sales of some sort and without even trying to try to get something, more stuff shows up. And that's kind of what I really wanted to kind of touch on with Chris in this interview is, yeah, this dude sells multi-million dollar private jets and has one of the coolest jobs in the world. And yet, he's really he's on he's on this other side it's not like okay let's get in and it's signed sealed delivered don't go and get me wrong chris is one of the best closers out there but he connects with people and he gets to know people for who they are not just what they do um for a living and you know he gets to you know he, he's using all of these types of principles to not only become a better version of himself as a salesperson as a father as a husband as a neighbor um, so, I mean, I, I, I just absolutely love our chats and love hearing these stories over and over again. So as we're wrapping up, is there anything that you would like to wrap up and share with our, with our tribe out there? Um, I, again, I just, um, you, you've, uh, uh kind of reiterating, you, you're, you're getting me out of my comfort zone here today, uh, talking <laughs> in front of a, uh, talking in front of a screen. Um, um, you know, you, you've, you've drawn some things out of me that I, I, don't normally uh, uh, don't normally share, um, but uh, um, I, I guess you know again, kind of really you know coming back to that message of um, you 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 can't outsource your heart, um, and when you take the time to uh, kind of deliver that heartfelt message, you don't know who it's going to be received by or how it's going to be received or what that person's situation is going to be uh, when they when they receive it, um, and you may send out uh, you, you you may send out uh, ten or you may send out a hundred, and may not uh, you know may not uh, hear back from anybody, but you're going to send one out uh, to someone. You're going to send them a heartfelt message, um, and you're going to hit you you it's going to hit them at the right time, mm -hmm. and it's going to have an impact. Um, it's going to have an impact from someone saying that, you know, I've, I've, I've done this for years and no one's ever set, taken the time to say thank you to me. Uh, you're going to, you know, do that at a point where, um, you know, someone comes to me and says, uh, 
Yeah, uh, I know you're a little bit more. I know your price is a little bit higher, but I like you, and 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 I love all the messages that I get from you, and I I, I enjoy our relationship. I'm going to do business with you because um, I can and because I want to. Um, um, you know, it's kind of funny. I don't, I don't really have you. <laughs> you described me as a as a closer before. I'm you know mumbling and stumbling and bumbling a little bit here on trying to find. Uh, you know, a good way to take it out or to close it, but, um, you know, just being, being genuine, uh, being genuine and have it come from the heart, um, and, and not outsourcing that. Um, you know, in, in the appreciation market, we talk about the ABCs of sales and it's not always be closing. It's always be charming. And, you know, that's the ABCs of appreciation marketing. And, you know, I say a closer, right? I consider you more of a, you know, you've, you more or less, instead of closing, you open people to possibilities and open people to a new way of thinking. Like just because you have the money to buy a private jet doesn't, they, people don't justify necessarily buying the private jet and, and owning it. But like one thing that we're never going to get back is time. And I remember you sharing that as one of your, um, you know, your go-to closes, if you will, or open people to a new way of thinking. And so, and uh, just these cards, I mean, uh, the way that you're sending them to people's assistants and the people that are handling and, you know, the CFOs of these companies and stuff like that of, you know, everybody around them loves Chris. So if you're up against somebody else and it's equal, you're winning the deal. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you have it over and over again. Yeah, no, I've, I've been, um, I, I like to, um, I like to call it kind of, uh, e equal parts of, um, of, um, of, uh, of being blessed, equal parts of uh, hard work, uh, equal yes. parts of um, of uh, a little bit of right time and right place, and uh, um, um, kind of uh, uh, equal parts of, of of always trying to do the right thing. Yeah, and uh, you know, if you're kind of looking for that uh, closing, uh, you know, again, I'll uh, you know learn so much from you and and, and Tommy and and. Um, you know, I'll kind of, you know, paraphrase this uh, a little bit in, in the way I've heard you guys say it, teach it, uh, preach it, et cetera, is that there's, uh, there's not enough time to do everything, mm -hmm. but there is always enough time to do what's right uh, and to do the right thing. So I really try to focus on, uh, you know, where am I going to spend my time, uh, you know, when I have a, a couple minutes or more uh, you know, wh where am I going to spend my time? I'm, I'm going to try and focus on, you know, what the right thing is to do and, and, and spend it on the right thing. Oh, um, right. And, and that's always, um, you know, that's always um, been, been a good recipe for success. Well, thank you so much. And we're going to wrap this up here. Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing some wisdom and hopping on and, and, uh, and sharing with our tribe what, what you're all about. I'm sure this is not going to be the last time that we're going to be hearing from you. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Take care. You got it. Thanks, Elu. Bye, buddy. Hey there, it's Curtis again. If you have not downloaded the seven most powerful referral secrets, hop on over to referralsecrets.com. It's free. That's simply referralsecrets.com. Also, we give away prizes every week to our subscribers. So make sure you click the subscribe button. Thank you again for listening to another episode of Referral Secrets.